Hi everyone, uh, my name is Patrick Perone. I'm here with uh, Dane Lumen, uh, who has a pretty interesting uh, red, black, or black, red hate deck that he's been playing today. Um, and as you can see, we're featuring his key card here, Dragonlord Kolagon, or a card that he's running, rather. Um, a lot of people have been asking him why he's running Dragonlord Kolagon, so uh, we're going to get to the bottom of that. So I'm going to pull up the deck list real quick. Uh, and as you can see, it's, um, it's lots of red, lots of black. And uh, it's a lot of kill spells and hate. So, um, Dane, why don't you uh, why don't you tell us why you have a Dragonlord Colligan, two so, Dragonlord Colligans in the so deck? So, Dragonlord Colligan is a uh, he basically functions as a Chandra, but also as denial. Uh, the deck is created to beat the mono white and the uh, Bant decks. So when he comes down and they've already used their one or two removal spells they have in the entire deck, uh, he keeps them from recasting things, or they take ten. Um, and normally, with the uh, other incremental advantage I have with uh, Draconic Roar and things like that, you know, ten is too much. So you said Chandra. You're running. Uh, you're running your own Chandras now. Um, yep, I've got two Chandras in there. Uh, they're great because they function as a win condition, but they also function as a second language, a second and third language uh, for the things that are a little bit too big, uh, which is really nice. And she lives through. So if I don't need the full language effect, she can win the game. Um, her and Colligan both come down, deal six to an, an empty board, which is great. It's normally a, a, a game winner when they come down. Good. All right. Um, so you are running four of Goblin Dark Dwellers. Uh, are there a lot? What spells do you find yourself bringing back the most with him today? Well, the, the biggest value is uh, Colligan's Command. Uh, it's great. It's a two for one in itself. So when you get to cast it for free again off of Dark Dwellers, um, it's amazing. Dark Dwellers having Menace is huge because we run so much hate that uh, we're able to keep the board pretty clean, and he's getting in for four every turn, and we only need one or two cracks with all the rest of the burn and removal. So it's he's just a great card. Uh, he's insane utility. Um, I find myself casting, you know, Read the Bones is great with him. Uh, to the Slaughter's been amazing. It's a two-for-one in itself normally. Uh, so I get, to, I get to, you know, hit their Planeswalker, hit the creature. It solves the Gideon problem. Um, he answers Soren. Um, it's really great into Chandra because uh, you, you can save yourself. Like it's it, to the slaughter with him is amazing, and to the slaughter by itself, it's been a, an amazing card so far. Yeah, to the slaughter seems like a pretty good card so far. So uh, let's pull that list back up. Um, uh, you're running two Chandra, one Obnixilis, uh card draw. Yeah, little... Ob's a great. He functions as removal, but he also functions late game. I like a lot of cards that can do a lot of things. Yeah. Um, we want cards that are multi uh which you know the deck's beat built to beat the you know little decks like bant and humans but it just it has the late game advantage that it can hang with the black white control and as for dragons list and how have you been feeling uh going up against uh what have you played mostly today rather um i've played two goggles decks uh which have been you know pretty good for me the call against uh command is pretty awesome against them um incremental advantages like thunder break and dark dwellers things like that normally just overwhelm them game two and three is really hard because i bring in a lot of discard against them uh, and they just can't get through it. Um, I played a black-white. We went to time, but I, I feel like I had to beat him. I grinded him out game one, uh, which is impressive. Without my discard and stuff, I was able to grind him out 30-minute uh, game one and beat him. Wow. Uh, and then game two took 25 minutes. So I almost had him in game three with, with a five-minute start. So it was it was rough. But um, I feel like the deck is, is pretty well-tuned. It has a lot of, of great little things that, you know, just two-for-ones everywhere. Um, everything gets you a little bit of incremental advantage. So how do, you, how do you feel Thunderbreak Regent's been performing for you today? Thunderbreak is, uh, he's very hit or miss. Uh, he's great against the little decks. That's why I love him. He comes down, he forces them to overextend because he's a huge body. Um, and then once they overextend, you can languish or Culligan's uh, return, or uh, not Culligan's, or Culligan's return and just wipe their board. Um, and he lives through most of that, which is great. Um, he's, he's good to, to get the little incremental advantage because they have to waste a removal spell on him. And you get three damage through, and then your Dark Dwellers comes down next turn, having already pulled a removal spell out of their hand. So it's he's he's good. Um, I don't know if he's as good as Kalidus. Um, there, there's a lot of talk in our playtest group about cutting him and the Draconic Roars and replacing with Kalidus and just like ultimate prices things like that. All right. So you're really enjoying uh, Kozilek's return. I mean, against the smaller decks, oh, I yeah. can see it being uh, really good. I I was originally on three Languish, um, but the card has just been absolutely stellar. Um, and it also gives me a big leg up game one against the black white control decks because yeah. um, they try and secure the waste at the end of my turn and I have an instant speed answer to it, which is nice. Yeah, um, and it also won't kill your own guys. So. Right. That's that's another reason why it's it's in there. Uh, language does kill 
<laughs> on my almost my entire team. Yeah. So that's rough. Uh, all right, so let's talk about your sideboard a bit uh, and 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 what you've added in there. I see two infinite obliteration. I love this card personally. Uh, oh yeah. I, I played uh, 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 what was the the convoke one that was in M15. Oh, I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, but yeah, I can't the one remember. you could convoke yeah. for. Uh, I used to play that on like turn three, you know, with two. Uh, Two little black dudes out, tap yep. for them, and, 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 and I love that card. Um, so Infinite Obliteration does kind of the same thing. Uh, so uh, it's It's been amazing for me because I can play it on turn three, hit problem things that come down turn four like Thought Knot or things like that, and then I get it again on five off of Dark Dwellers. So a lot of these decks that only run two or three threats, like you know red-green uh, ramp and such, I can rip both their threats out of their deck, and then I have so much one-for-one -one removal that they have to find the removal, much less try and kill me with it. Now, what have you found yourself sideboarding in the most out of this list here? Well, I really like the Dark Petition package. Um, I can bring it in against basically everyone, and then it makes my Silver Bullets so much better. Um, so like Virulent Plague, Ruinous Path, uh, the other Calling In's Command. It's just, it allows me to, to find the answers that I need or also find win conditions. Um, the card is almost never a dead draw, which is great. Um, it just, it, it allows me to be more flexible with my sideboard. I'm only running one Kalidus because I can find it when I need it. I'm only running one Virulent Plague because I can find it when I need it. Uh, and I don't like those type of cards to be in my opening hand to get duressed out or something like that. So that's rough. And, of course, you have a lot of Spell Mastery activators with the, the, yeah. the spells you're casting. So you're you're almost always getting that extra three mana, right? Uh, I have I will almost always. Um, last game, I actually had to play two Cosmic's Return into an empty board to activate it. But I did end up winning <laughs> that game. Um, okay. But it was, it was pretty silly. Well, uh and how, what's your record so far today? I am only 1-1-1 one, one, and one because one, of the one, draw. Oh, yep. uh, okay. Well, we're still here early today, so th there's a chance for you to, to, to come back and, and, and take some more games. And uh, hopefully we, we might see you on, on the stream later. So uh, we'll at least see this video on stream because uh, we're throwing them up there. So, uh, But I, I just want to thank you for talking to us today and um, appreciate it. And yeah, I hope you're, uh, I hope you have a good rest of the day for your competition so thank you all right we'll be right back with some more magic